29 inch and 27 five inch wheels. Let's dive in, take a look in and, oh fuck, I went a little bit overboard there. Okay, dive in. What's up, Niners and friends? Welcome to another episode of Inside the Nine here in the Niner Garage. Today, we're gonna take a look at the RIP9 RDO, uh, which comes in two flavors, 29 inch and 27 five inch. Let's dive in and check out the differences. Out of the four full suspension bikes in the Niner lineup, RIP9 RDO sits in the middle along with the Jet9 RDO. Now, you're gonna ask what separates the two bikes. Since there's four bikes in the lineup, what separates the two bikes in the middle? Well, if you are more of a gravity-oriented rider, you may wanna head for the RIP. If you're more of a pedaling efficiency and uh, long days in the saddle rider, you may wanna head for the Jet. Now, that doesn't mean you can't do long days in the saddle on the RIP. It's awesome at that. Uh, we just, with the 140 travel, in the rear and 150 travel up front, we know that the RIP is gonna maybe have a few days at the bike park. So it is definitely geared a little bit more towards the rider that's looking for a little bit more capable descending bike. We also offer it in 27 five inch wheels. If you're looking for something super playful, super jibby, if you like jumping, any sort of like pump track, bike parky sort of stuff, the 27 five RIP is gonna be an awesome choice for you. So you may wanna take a look at that. All right, let's jump into some of the frame details of the RIP9 RDO. Obviously, this RIP9 RDO is constructive of our RDO carbon fiber, so full carbon fiber frame. We also have full sleeved internal routing where the housing enters the head tube, runs all the way through the frame, sleeved, and exits the rear end for a super clean look, but it's also relatively easy to maintain. Out back, we have post mount for 180 millimeter rotors and clearance for 2.6 tires. We know people on these bigger bikes love running big tires so you have plenty of room in there for even mud and debris collection factory installed protection for chain chain suck chain slap anything like that we made sure that the frame was really covered in the back end here because we know it's going to take a lot of abuse we also have a replaceable skid plate underneath here for the lower cva link uh, we know that occasionally you may get some rock strikes down here so we want to make sure that you could keep your link nice and clean uh, However, we do have to note that while the bike is under load, while it's under sag, a lot of times that link is gonna suck up underneath the chain ring. So the thing that's probably gonna take a hit first is the chain ring and not the CVA link. But we also installed ICGS05 mounts on the frame. So we wanna make sure that if you wanna run chain guide, a bash guard, uh, you know, a chain keeper, there is that capability there as well. So we really wanna make sure this area was protected um, and you know, keeping you rolling. Moving forward, we do have a flip chip uh, on the upper CVA links here. We've got a high load and a mo low mode. So again, we're sort of referring back to earlier when we were talking about uh, what this bike can be used for. If you're a trail rider and you just want a long travel bike to ride all your hours on, uh, in high mode, this bike has a 66 degree head tube angle and a 75.8 degree C tube angle. So it's great for climbing, but once you throw that saddle down for a long descent, uh, you know, it's nice and out of the way. And then again, if you're taking this bike to the park, you flip it into low mode, a 65 degree head tube angle and a 75.2 degree C tube angle really slackens it out, uh, keeps you stable at high speed, but it's also super fun. We do have the rib cage here. Uh, this helps stiffen up the lower part of the frame. Uh, it also actually looks kind of cool, we think. Uh, we did use the Enduro Max black oxide bearings, just like on the rest of our models. So again, nice, high quality bearing. Those are gonna last a really long time and keep your suspension moving very freely and very open. Uh, we do have bottle mounts on the inside of the front triangle. Again, we know people are gonna be riding this bike for hours. We wanna make sure and add that capability in there. Moving up front, we have a tapered head tube, which is standard on almost every bike nowadays, whether it's road, gravel, or mountain. Uh, that is paired with our 150 millimeter fork. And speaking of suspension, on the rear end, you can have your choice of two shocks from us. You can either get a Fox Float X or a Fox Float X2. Now, depending upon which type of riding you're doing, uh, they may suit your style better. Uh, you just have to decide if, again, maybe you're a trail rider and you want something that's a little bit lighter, uh, or you're looking to spend most of your time in the bike park, the Float X2 might be a little bit way, better way to go for you. So it just depends on what your style of riding is. Uh, of course, it's a Niner frame, so it has the lifetime warranty on it. And we also wanted to make sure that it was very easily serviceable. So we added small hits like a threaded bottom bracket, 
an eyelid shock, a 30.9 seat post, and even up to and including the suspension leakage and its parts. Uh, these are standard bearing sizes. That's all hex keys. If you need to remove, clean, change, swap bearings, uh, that's all very easily done. All right, now let's talk ride quality. We've talked about all the characteristics, what makes this frame unique um, and some of its special features, but why rip? Well, the rip is awesome for a lot of different things. It's a bit of a jack of all trades. If you're gonna do long days in the saddle, it's awesome. If you're gonna take it to the bike park every once in a while, it's awesome as well. We do want to define though that the WFO, our wide full open, our 170 mil, 180 mil bike is really designed as our enduro and bike park bike. Uh, the rip was really designed as like, if you're occasionally going to hit the bike park, it can handle it. But we also know a lot of people take their rips and ride them for three, four or five hours, however long you want to ride. Um, so while it's not a jet, you know, you may not have it like multi-day adventure. This bike sits at a really good place. Because of the rib cage, it's laterally very stiff, but it's also super plush. So again, chunkier trails, you know, 140 mil, 150 mil. It's a longer travel bike, but it's not a huge bike, again, like the WFO. Uh, this bike can handle a lot. With the 29 and 27 five inch versions, you can also split hairs even more if you wanted to. You know, the 29 version is gonna roll a little bit faster, a little bit more efficiently. Again, like we were talking about, the CVA suspension, 150 mil travel, it can ride long days if you need it to. Or again, if you might spend a little bit more time at the dirt jumps, maybe occasionally hit the bike park a little bit more often, the 27 five inch version might be something to look at because those wheels are gonna be a little bit more poppy, a little bit easier to turn, uh, you know, but may not roll quite as efficiently uh, as you would want for say, spending a longer day in the saddle. Uh, we hope that this sort of gives you an idea of where the rip fits into our lineup. You know, again, WFO, big, long travel, enduro, bike park, a lot of the time. This guy was designed to hit the bike park occasionally, but also spend longer days in the saddle. Jet, that's where you're going to spend most of your time if you're really out there looking to pedal efficiently for a long time. That's the RIP9 RDO. We hope that helps give you an idea of where it fits in, what makes it unique, what makes it different, what makes it special. Uh, as always, please follow us on social media at Niner Bikes. Uh, follow, jump on the website. If you have any questions or comments about the RIP 9 RDO, there's tons of information on there, uh, NinerBikes.com. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks.